Hi and welcome to my playhouse. Today I am at this Nutanix convention um, in Copenhagen and I have been invited by Nutanix as a partner here. And I am not very knowledgeable about Nutanix, so I have started at the very beginning. And I am attending a breakout session of um, their portfolio. So let's go see that. So this is it. It's Nutanix Portfolio 101. Technical primer. So um, it, it's I'm expecting that's the first layer before you put on the paint, right? Okay, this nice session is over and I've learned a lot about the, the building blocks of Nutanix and I've caught Chris... Oh, I'm not gonna be... Uh, what was Crescenzo. Oh, that's a tongue twister. And he has promised to help me with all the different building blocks of Nutanix in a very quick way so that you don't have to uh, uh, see this for three hours. Were we here for? Oh, we will we'll catch you in five minutes. Let's try. Five minutes. Let's try. Yeah. So, what we do at Nutanix for letting uh, a, a very good customer journey, okay? We started from ACI, that is the Nutanix Core. We started uh, 10 years ago, now this year is 10 years. And we started uh, in different ways, okay? The, the first three pillars of Nutanix are in, in this slide saying that we created the Ever Converged uh, in 2009. And by the way, we are going to simplify the management of a difficult, a complex IT environment for our customers doing it with hyperconvergence. Uh, of course, we started with the virtualization because it's one of the main pillars we have as Nutanix. But we didn't stop. We added on these core features that is our basement of the uh, enterprise cloud. The idea of Nutanix is to bring the basement other services that are re related to, uh, to what we see in the IT because any customer needs the intelligent operation, that means how to grow the infrastructure. Any customer needs to have a multi-cloud environment because today one of the uh, way customer is trying to reduce costs is create a multi-cloud environment to bring the application where it's cheaper, okay? Yeah. The other very important point is uh, having network security. Without security, we are uh, difficult to implement important services for our customers. And once again, the one of services. other uh, services that a customer has started to ask to us is to bring in the platform file services as native, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is the, let me say, the second layer of uh, the... Yeah, you kind of have the, the, the core and the essentials, right? Yes, the second layer of a Nutanix journey of uh, a customer, yeah. okay? As of today. We didn't stop here more enterprise <laughs> so we moved to the enterprise uh, world again we started from the enterprise because the platform is bringing the enterprise features to our customers from mm. beginning as a uh, as a platform we used to have a storage block in the in the platform to let an external machine using Nutanix as a storage it's like a sand solution it's like a sand but with yeah. no sand yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So the idea okay. is to bring the uh, SCSI services to a uh, legacy VMs. Yeah. The other point is the customer asked to us is to create object storage mm -hmm. for hospital. You can think for pictures. Okay. Again, it's a services that is growing because it's not un for unstructured data. Okay. You just throw your data in the bucket and you don't have to worry about where the storage solution puts it. That's it's right. Just yes. Yeah. It's just a service. Cool. Again. Customer said, oh, but I have dozens of database. Can you help me on that? Sure, we created on, the, on that database as a service feature. Yeah. So customer can enable uh, and use very quickly uh, database farms. Uh, and the, uh, one of the latest trends is to use containers. Containers, dockers, and Kubernetes. So again, it's a services that is inside and built in, into the platform. Again, we didn't stop there because customer asked for disaster recovery. Again, it's another pain for them, typically. Oh, Easy yeah, to manage. The disaster recovery thing. As a service, right. Yeah, cool. Desktop as a service is another... Uh, Taking up the battle with all vendors? Yes, the, because <laughs> we need to... We want customer have a, a freedom again 
So our uh, um, desktop as a services works as a, a platform, uh, as a broker, to let customers just using a, a browser uh, like Chrome or whatever, to have uh, it uh, uh, using for the VDI solution that can run on-premise on Nutanix, but can also run on AWS and Azure. Again, freedom of choice for other, uh, our customers. Hybrid cloud solutions, but how to understand what is cheaper, um, how am I efficient in spending my money? Yeah. We have a solution that understands the costs customer is having and also security, because some customers need to have compliance, needs to follow some compliance. Think about HIPAA, think about PCI for banks. Okay, so yeah. we can even easily let customers no play and know costs. about yeah. compliance. Okay. Application monitoring again, yeah. we have several thousands of applications may have, who is speaking with others. We have a, another services that is able to map, it's like a Google map for the applications. Yeah. So we are able to understand who is speaking with who, and in that case we may close the door so if something is not documented over something that is in the brownfield, okay? It's for security, of course. Last but not least is the latest trend we have is IoT. Internet of Thousands, things. Yeah. Internet of Things, yeah. yes. Thousands of uh, uh, edge devices. The idea of Nutanix is you cannot send everything back to the cloud, analyze and go back. Think about a, a, a car that is auto driving, self-driving. Cannot wait the cloud to understand if it has no. a red light or a yeah, green one. It needs so to you know need to, to know that. locally. Mm -hmm. So the idea of Nutanix is to be the, again a platform to let customer manage easily the infrastructure, the thousands of uh, edge services, and uh, easily to uh, distribute the applications to it. Okay. That's complete uh, at the moment because. And that's the easy to understand names. Yeah, right because this is the and services, but we mapped it as a. Uh, product names. Yeah, that's all the Nutanix names for those services. Absolutely, uh, services. yes. So, Cavern was containers? Container. Era. Databases as services. Databases? Object Focus. storage. Object storage, volumes. I scarcely or... Uh, that was the sand Block solution. storage, yes. Okay. Leap uh, is disaster recovery. Everything with XI is something on the cloud, yeah. okay? Xi Leap is a disaster recovery. Xi Frame is VDI as a service. Beam is cost and compliance. Yeah. Epoch is application mapping. Yeah. And IoT is uh, uh, Internet of Things. Yeah, things. Yeah. And then we have the essential. Um, uh, yeah. Again, in the essential Pro component is the intelligent uh, Prism Pro with the artificial. If you have more, uh, more clusters. Christmas. Yes, more classes around the world you can manage from a single pane of glass. Yeah, cool, sure. And then calm, calm keep, is keep calm. <laughs> keep calm and going. Our DevOps platform, you can build your blueprints, your application, don't matter if it is complicated or not. You can go easy, design it, and you can run on any cloud. Flow is the security, is a micro-segmentation solution. Yeah, and so use the files file is the file service. service. And you told that cool thing about them. when you pop that in, you don't have to worry about where it's located. It will be yes. high availability right away. That was but cool. By definition, <coughs> we build everything that must be robust, humans, scalable, how and how resilient. You, how do you pronounce the prime? Prism. Prisma. Prism. That's the, yes. the interface for controlling everything. Everything, right? yes. Everything. AHB is AHB. our hypervisor, hypervisor and enterprise Acropolis. ready. And Acropolis, the ACI, ACI, the storage part of the hyperconvergence. So we start here, 10 years yeah. ago, and we are completing the pitch and still growing on services and what we can do for our customers. Cool. Thank you very much. You are welcome. <laughs> so this place is huge. This is uh, one of the places where you can go eat. And um, I'm having great difficulties finding my way around here. It's not logical, or at least I'm not finding it logical. Here's another place where there are some vendor machines and some partner sponsors that have put up some stuff. 
here they have something called the tube it's kind of it's also a oh it's a new station for high tech and they interview famous people in the tech industry so yeah they have a great setup there There is a lot of brands here, so yeah, and yeah, they are doing a lot of branding. Okay, and in here there is this convention hall where there is vendors which is doing different stuff with Nutanix. Um, it can be a backup solution, it can be a storage solution. More or less, each of them is doing something using Nutanix. And let's just have a peek at some of it. at the Lenovo booth. How did that happen? The convention here is closing for the night. Um, I actually did have two parties that I was invited to, uh, but I think I better go home and edit this video and put that up. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Um, I hope you learned something about Nutanix because I learned uh, a lot and I got it all repeated for you guys. <laughs>